Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and I know it's been a hot minute, but Dokkan has been, like, really dead. Like, for a part one of Worldwide, like, things died down, and, like, it felt like there was, like, nothing. Now we're finally getting a bunch of stuff again, so definitely look forward to some more videos. So, we're gonna open it up with this Tech LR Broly EZA, who seems absolutely ridiculously insane to me. Um, we did get the info on the new uh, LR Gohan and the new LR Broly coming out. I do want to get team build guides on those because those have been pretty popular. People have been liking those. So I'll try to get those out soon. If not today, maybe tomorrow or the next day. Um, but I'd like to get them out before they drop, right? So for this video, let's focus on Tech Broly. And dude, this guy's a killer, man. <laughs> so this is the opposite of Int Broly's EZA where they actually did this guy really, really well. So let's take a look at his passive really quick. Uh, Resurrected Warriors Key 4 and 150 the stats. Not a leader you're actually going to use. Super attack effect on the 12 key, he gets an attack raise for one turn, does colossal and lowers defense. And then on the 18 key, he greatly stacks attack. So that's an infinite attack stack on the 18 key. And that is important, and you'll find out why. Uh, he greatly raises defense for one turn and does like mega colossal damage to the enemy and lowers defense. And then if we go into the regular passive here, he gets key three and attack and defense 200, another attack and defense 120 while performing a super attack. So when we look at the start of turn defense, we have to remember he's getting a big chunk of defense on super. Another attack and defense 121 performing an ultra super. So he's got two different multiplicative attack and defense 120s. That's insane to me. Plus another attack 50% when the target enemy is an attack down or defense down. Um, and another key three and launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super. If you're facing one enemy, he gets another five key and launches an additional super attack when there are two or more enemies. And then he has a transformation that's very easy. He just transforms from turn four automatically, which is good because you want this guy to transform. Um, so then his passive, I'm not going to read it, but it's pretty much the same thing. Just all the stats are buffed. Um, and then he does give 6% crit to extreme class allies, which is pretty good. Um, and then he does get guard while performing an ultra which is great. Um, and then, yeah, the rest of it is pretty dang similar. He gets extra key and all that, um, you know, the same way as the other kits. So just his stats go up. He gets the, the crit buff to allies and um, yeah, looking pretty good. And then he gets the guard, which is great. But this is the big thing. This dude is a freaking nuke. I think this is probably the single most damaging character in Dokkan history. Like the amount of damage this guy's going to output is absolutely jaw dropping. So he gets an active skill that he can use immediately after transforming. Key plus 24 and attack plus 48% for one turn. Now that doesn't sound crazy, but that attack plus 48 multiplies at the end on top of everything he's already got. So like it multiplies in and it actually feels way stronger than 48%. It's going to be a humongous gargantuan number that this guy's going to do. Now, this is where the attack stacking comes into play because the longer you sit there and let him attack stack, because I believe he has that here as well. Let's go to the uh, transformed 18 key. Um, so he greatly gets attack and defense for one turn there um, and he gets it there. So it's only on the pre-transform state. So on the pre-transform state, the more 18 key supers you can get, um, the more stacks he has going into this, and then it's going to make this attack look even stronger, right? So ridiculous mammoth, uh, crazy character. So let's go ahead and take a look at him here. So we are running on the other Tech Broly's leader skill. Um, obviously, his team's going to change quite a bit because we're getting another ridiculous Broly to put on the team. Uh, but this is what we're running right now. So let's go ahead and hop in. Uh, we're in Red Zone Movie Boss Rush here. And I pretty much, I needed to either go into a long fight or a fight with undestructible enemies because this broly team is going to be like a buzzsaw with the damage like in a ridiculous amount of damage all right so we're going to have the broly in the second rotation actually set up really nice um the next rotation is going to look really good so right here um i actually think we're gonna well do i want to try i think i am going to transform broly here because i think i want to just try to go for heavy damage and try to one shot this phase rather than try to go light and try to save damage for the next turn because these units are going to hit too hard between AGL Broly and then we got Cell Max here, right? So let's just do that. Although Cell Max is only getting a 12 key. Let's see what happens. As long as this Broly's critting, I mean, we should be able to take down this Turles fairly quick. Maybe I made a mistake here. Maybe we just needed to hold back and not transform. Yeah, probably because without the crit, he barely, yeah, with, and then with the crit, he does do damage. Yeah, maybe, yeah, I probably should have just held back. I guess we didn't do that much damage. And it's okay, like on the next turn, 
Um, we don't need to like worry about getting a bunch of additionals, provided I can just get my Tech Broly one attack, we're good. Um, because I would like to get that great attack stack. Um, but I may have to put him in slot one, because if I don't think this guy's going to survive a Tech Broly, that, that's the thing. I don't think he's going to from the, the Carnival Broly. It's going to be hard. They're both Tech Broly, so I can't just say Tech Broly, but uh, I, I'm probably going to have to put the Easy A Broly, the showcase unit, in slot one just to make sure he gets his attack in. So I think that's what we're going to do. Hopefully Turles doesn't just super immediately because we're like type disadvantage. He'll take some damage, um, like a lot of damage. He's meant to be probably more of a slot two unit, which is perfect for this Broly team because with the Carnival Broly, you've got your slot one unit right there. So, all right, let's see what happens here. Cell Max getting supered. Actually, that's good because that means slot one is highly unlikely to have a super next turn. So I think we can just, yeah, we're just going to put him in slot one. Ooh, there's a lot of attacks. Oh, no. Actually, hold on. Uh, quick soft reset. Quick soft reset. I just have to not transform the Broly because he won't attack. That's what we'll do. Then we can go in slot two. I'm a silly Billy there. All right. So let's just jump back in. Don't worry about that soft reset. We got this. I'm kind of on a time crunch. So I'm like, I just don't even want to restart the video. We'll just keep going. Um, but I am pretty excited for the new banners. Very excited. Um, I definitely want to get the new Broly. I kind of like... I know that the LR trio that released in part one and the Gohan look really, really good, but I kind of am just like skipping the super stuff and focusing on the Broly stuff because I got a really good super team. I don't feel like I need another one. All right, so let's do, oh yeah, Broly's looking really good. Um, he's basically at an 18 key already. All right, this can be a good first turn here. Um, so let's see, link wise, we're only missing two links. He's 300k defense start a turn, but remember two separate 120% procs that you'd get on that. Not too shabby, actually. All right, let's see what damage. Now, this is the untransformed state, right? This is the weaker state. So we're not expecting as much here, but I think he's still going to perform pretty well. Uh, this Tech Broly, I think, is going to be looking pretty spicy right here. Let's see what we got. Dude, 32? Oh, my goodness. 32 million. I actually wasn't expecting that. I haven't used him yet. I was thinking he would be like 20 mil. Dude, he just popped, popped a 32 mil nuke. He's not even transformed yet. And we got the great attack raise. So that's fantastic. Um, so what do we do here against Slug, huh? Broly, Chilai, and Lemo could get me in trouble here. Um, do I just keep going big daddy damage? Maybe. I mean, I got to try. Yeah, we'll just do the active skill here. We'll just go big damage the whole way through. I mean, that's really what this team is. It's just big damage. Um, Broly, Chilai, and Lemo legitimately could die on, like, a single super. I'm just gonna trust that they don't get supered, or if they do, that they dodge it. Okay, good. Super right away. That's fantastic. That means Broly and Chilai and Lemo are fine. All right, 24 mil for the Carnival Broly. And by the way, it's AoE. Like, that's kind of crazy. But, dude, the easy A Broly making the... <laughs> <laughs> making the carnival broly here kind of look like a kitten man with that 32 mil shot right out of the gate and once again we haven't seen the big daddy turn um that's gonna be insane dude Th this team i don't know if i'm doing any type of speed run like this is the team man. <laughs> they've got so much power so much damage and once again we don't even have the doke on fest lr yet uh, i'm definitely going to be getting him i've got my coins ready to go so i'm guaranteed to get them um, I don't have a lot of stones and I don't want to buy a lot. I'm really trying to cut down on my Dokkan spending. So, um, bare minimum, I'm going to have them 55%, but I would like to get some dupes. We'll see. We'll see. I may summon to the point that I can do two pities and then decide from there what I want to do with them. All right, here's Broly, Chilai, and Lemo. Please just don't get us killed. I mean, it should be a normal here. I don't know that Lord Slug double supers. I don't think he does. Dang it, I forgot. I Oh, wait. Oh, no, Broly. We left him with a sliver. All right. Well, I don't think we want to waste our nuke on a sliver here, do we? So, But we're definitely going to go in slot one because we got to see this nuke damage here uh, for sure. We're not going to use the active, though. We are going to transform the other. Well, yeah, because the other tech Broly doesn't have a stuff. He only gets it for one turn. All right. So now we are still five out of seven links. We lost Saiyan lineage, but we gained Super Saiyan. Uh, he's 223k defense, which isn't that great, to be honest. But he's meant to be in slot 2. Um, I'm going to put him here in slot 1 and just hope he doesn't get instantly supered. And we did get the 18 key super, which is good. Oh, actually, oh no, I thought that was a scouter, but no, he's just saying that's a skill. Don't super immediately? Okay, yeah, 50k normals. 31 million, wow. <laughs> so he's just been 30 mil plus. 
and this time was without support. So basically, yeah, dude, he's going to be like, what, like, what, 35, 36 mil there if he's got support. So what I would like to do. Okay, and we're going to get, okay, this is going to be spicy. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop Broly Domain. We're going to be buffing the team. We are going to try to hopefully incinerate Cooler in one turn is the goal here. And then get a fresh unit for the new Broly. And we're going to pop that active skill and go crazy. Um, actually... I'm going to try to save tech orbs because, yeah, we don't need all these orbs here. Um, let's grab... I mean, I kind of want Turles to get those. But I also want to go all out with AGL Broly. But the tech orbs... All right, let's do that. We'll just grab those two tech orbs there. And then we've got all this over here. Yeah, and then we get Turles the 24 key. All right, this should be a good turn. I'm feeling pretty good that we can take... Yeah, 30, 36 mil now that we got the domain. My uh, Carnival Broly, by the way, is 90%. I don't know what the friend one is. But yeah, dude, this is... I think we're going to peel through Cooler here, man. The damage is crazy. I mean, regardless, next turn... Yeah, oh yeah, no. I was going to say, if Cooler lives, I don't think he's living this. Because even Turles is going to put up good damage here. Let's see what we got. AGL Broly. Man, I really wish I had dupes on AGL Broly. Like, had I known this was coming, I probably would have just flat out, like, skipped Gammas and just went way heavier on this guy. Even Gogeta I wouldn't have gone as deep on, man. I wish I would have went all in on Broly. I did not know this was coming. Oh, yeah, dude. Cooler's not even going to make it to Turles. <laughs> this team, man. So this is going to be ideal because I think we're going to have support. Are we going to have support? Is it Broly, Chi, Lai, and Lemo up next turn? It might be. So I think we will have, let's see. Yeah, Broly, Chi, Lai, and Lemo. We're going to have Tech Turles. Oh my God, this is going to be crazy. Um, oh, geez. Okay, so we're going to pop everything here. And I am going to do Carnival Broly in slot one. Because I don't, there's no way he like takes out, there's no way, right, that he takes out like a fresh unit here. I don't think so. So let's do this. We've got 24 key lined up. Oh my God. And then um, Broly, Chi, Lai, and Lemo. I guess we're getting AGL orbs, which I think is defense, isn't it? That's fine. Uh, what are stats looking like? 267K defense? Okay. Once again, he gets so much on super. I'm pretty sure he's around like anywhere from one and a half to two and a half million defense, depending on the situation. Or no, I think he's more like 1.4 mil, something like that. But he's got like guard, right? Oh my God. Okay, thank God. Dude, we almost took him out. All right, we're going to see the big Mamma Jamma attack here. Wow, that actually was risky. Dude, Android 13 going down like a chump. All right, what do we got here? This is going to be the big attack. <laughs> 70 million, you guys. Dude, a 70 mil attack stat? Are you kidding me right now? Look at this number. Oh my goodness, what a nuke. Tech Broly's crazy. That's why, like, even if he isn't the most defensive unit in the world, you just get him to that turn, and you're killing whatever phase you're on. Dude, I, I don't know, like, naturally in a fight, like, 70 million is by far, by far the highest attack stat I've ever seen. Like, ridiculous. I mean, Cell Max can just sit and do whatever. Let's get one more turn, I suppose, after the active skill here. I'm fine with that. Let's go one more turn. Um, and that was with Domain. Oh my God. Dude, 70 million. And I think his additionals, because I saw another video with a similar attack stat. Pretty sure he's doing like 40 mil additionals there. But the you're not going to see it too often because the bosses aren't going to survive a 70 mil shot. That And that wasn't even a crit, by the way. So that was what, 40 mil actual damage without the crit? I wanted to see the crit with like the all the nines up there. That would have been crazy. But yeah, outside of like a silly punching bag or nuking situation, like that type of attack set is literally unheard of. Like that is just so wild to me. Now there's characters like Kefla where we've seen a combined like 100 mil attack set, right? Like she can do four 25 mil shots. But when you're talking about a 70 and then a 40 and then maybe another 40, that is ludicrous damage. Like literally <laughs> ludicrous damage. Um the the mo the the wildest damage I've ever seen on a unit. So I'm very excited about the tech Broly. So thank God they nailed it on him, man. Um, the thing I'm thinking though with the new Broly, uh, the new Dokkan Fest LR Broly, 
It actually might make the Int Broly more viable because he has a revive that you want to proc. So like having Int Broly like there is like he can put up really good damage and he's like guarding stack and defense or whatever. But like if he's the one weak unit on the team defensively that gets you killed, you kind of want to die once to get the revive anyways. And then the hope is, is you can either hide the Int Broly or actually get him stacked up to levels to survive. And dude, this team is going to shred so fast with all the damage. And having that revive in your back pocket, just allowing the Int Broly to, you have that that grace where like you know he can die once and you're fine get him to his active skill where he's putting up multiple 25 30 mil shots like i don't know i think i think the new dokkan fest broly actually saved imp broly a little bit um all right turles i mean here's what i'm gonna do because we want to get just one more attack stat here we're just going to double weast to make sure turles doesn't die and then we'll get one more attack stat. but i mean we've pretty much seen it right he's not like a stacking unit like, he's just going to be this, like, the rest of the way now, right? Like, this is just him. But we got to see what he was like in Domain with the crazy active skill 70 mils insane. Let's see what he does after the fact. I'm guessing we'll still see, like, the 30-something mil shot. But he's got support. He's linked here, right? So let's see what this Transform Broly looks like outside of the active skill turn with support. Dude, 48? Oh, my goodness. 48 million. This oh, Dude, this Broly's wild. The damage, look at it go, <laughs> wow. Well, anyways, guys, there you go. There's Tech Easy LR Broly. One of the most offensively impressive units I have ever seen in this game's history. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.